Welcome to our final installment of the Survival Guide to Lent. I hope everyone is doing well. Today is Maundy Thursday. It is not Monday Thursday or Monday Thursday, Thursday, which some people have said, or Monday Thursday. It is Maundy Thursday, M-A-N-U-D-Y, Thursday. And a lot of people think that Maundy Thursday is, uh, we talk about the Last Supper. We do, do lots of different things. But what the word Maundy means, it comes from the Latin word, uh, I got to make sure I get this right, uh, comes from the Latin word mandatum, which is to command. All right. So interesting um, that we should, in the traditional uh, things, always talk about the Last Supper. Really, it was about Jesus giving the greatest commandment to his disciples. So the greatest commandment can be found, well, the one that I'm going to be referring to can be found in the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. I'm going to put on my little reading lamp here because it is hard to read. My, my Bible print is very tiny. It says, I give you a new commandment. Love one another and you are and you are to love one another the way I have loved you. That's very important. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, that you truly love one another. Hmm. That's not really the, the narrative that, that goes with Maundy Thursday in general. But that's what I'm going to talk about today is um, love. And how it was so important to Jesus that it was one of the last things that he said to his disciples. You know, he said it on Maundy Thursday, gave them this new commandment that said, love one another. Okay, that's how I'm going to know that you are following my teaching is how you love one another. The way I love you. Okay which is an inclusive, unconditional love. Jesus showed love to every person. He even showed love to people who were persecuting him. I know that's hard to believe, right? But it's true. Always trying to make them see another side, a different way, a n another path to go on. So, Monday Thursday is, is, you know, it's today, but we're also going to be talking about, this is the end of our journey in the desert. We've survived. Yay. 40 days in the desert. We've survived. And here we are. Tomorrow is good Friday. And we're going to, as we come out of the desert of Lent, um, we're feeling a little parched, you know, my, my soul is thirsty, right? Something Something has happened to me in Lent. I have learned some things. I have grown closer to God and worked hard at trying to understand Jesus' message to all of us. To the best of my knowledge, it is all about love. How we give love and how we receive love. It's pretty great. So through our journey, we have, we have accumulated quite a lot of things in our backpack, including my coat, which is actually right over there. Uh, but we have water and we have sunscreen and we have, um, uh, excuse me, one second. I did. So water, sunscreen, forms of shade, my coat for insulation, food, which is my RX bar, a map or a compass, which is on my phone, 
but I need a hardcore one, which I have. Um, we also have our scarf. Remember, one of the most important things that we have in our backpack is that scarf. Fire making materials, um, a turbo lighter, whatever you've got, <laughs> waterproof matches, um, light, uh, some kind of lighting. My headlamp, you remember that? Whatever direction you turn, you've got light. That's a, that's a cool thing. First aid kit so that if something happens to you, if you get hurt, you have a way to heal yourself. A mirror for signaling. Make sure you check your look, that you look good. And um, then soap for your shower, your bath when you come out of the desert. What's your favorite thing? What changed you? What did you come out of the desert going? I'm sure glad I had that uh, or I listened to that. For me, what I came out of the desert with knowing the most important thing is that Jesus lived to teach me how to love. It's a hard thing to love the unlovable. It's a hard thing to love people that don't love me. It's a hard thing to um, accept love from someone who you're uncomfortable accepting love from. Now, that doesn't mean uh, accepting or tolerating an abusive relationship or pedophilia. Definitely not. No, I'm not endorsing that. But if there's ever been someone in your life that has treated you poorly and has truly truly fix themselves to be able to be forgiven. In other words, if they have gone through some self-reflection and said, what I did to this person was wrong through, through whatever means possible. Some people do that when they go through AA, they have to go through self-reflection and they have to atone for what they did to other people. Um, and, and when that happens, you have to ask the person to forgive you. And that's a hand, that's an extension saying, I want to know how to love you. And part of that is having your forgiveness. It's not always easy to forgive people that have done wrong to you in the, in the past. But I have to tell you, it is so necessary in order to be able to love fully. And God sent Jesus to show us how God loves. Jesus loved everybody. Jesus told everyone to love everybody. Love your neighbor. Love your enemy. Um, love God. Love yourself. Don't forget about that one. We oftentimes put that one first. Wink, wink. But we have to remember that ultimately Jesus' message to us was one of love. And forgiveness is part of that love. So if you've, if you've enjoyed our journey, well, let me just say this. I hope you've enjoyed our journey. I've enjoyed it with you. I hope that you have taken away something from our desert adventures together, whether it's survival tips or uh, relationship building tips for your journey of faith. Uh, I wish you all well. Have a joyful Easter celebration, however that is for you. And I'm going to be taking a break from uh, my Facebook Live for a little while. I'll be back. Um, trying, I'm going to be trying some new things, at different times, uh, doing different things. So be on the lookout for that. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody again. And I will be back soon. All right. Okay, everybody, take care and happy Easter. Remember, love each other. Bye. Okay. Ooh. Now, after all this time, hopefully I can. I think I'm. I don't know.